This wildfire near Lancaster, California scorched more than 30,000 acres and destroyed 24 homes. Weeks before the blaze, this area had been identified for high fire risk by a NASA satellite tracking moisture content across California. We can help fight fires before they even begin and also save a lot of money and definitely save lives. Ishmael Calderon is a scientist at Chapman University. He's working with a team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory that's using two weather and earth observing satellites to survey millions of acres of California. This whole area then is just very dry, totally yes. dry. The data shows changes in vegetation and soil moisture. It identifies where the fire danger is highest, allowing fire agencies to plan their response before a fire occurs. When a fire is reported, fire agencies, they bring out everything they need, helicopters, dozers, trucks. So if they could better assess what the danger level is in a certain area, then they can assess how much they should bring to the table when a fire happens. Scientists say the current drought followed a burst of vegetation growth in California this winter. That created plenty of dead fuel for future fires. We've got a tinderbox. We're in a critical situation. Every other week, George Ewan collects samples of vegetation for the Orange County Fire Authority. It's dead. Dead. It's just falling off of my hands. The stems are brittle. He confirms on the ground what the satellites show from above. There is almost no moisture in this brush. I'm seeing that we're in a critical stage two months ahead of schedule. Uh, the numbers that I got last time, which I took two weeks ago, were comparable to the first part of August. NASA is already sharing the satellite data with fire officials in Southern California. The agency eventually plans to expand the program nationwide. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.